안녕하세요 여러분 잘 지냈어요? So I'm assuming you guys have clicked on this video because of the title and don't worry it's not a clickbait it is true as of today I have become an official tutor on Cafe Talk I personally am super excited but it really isn't a big deal because you don't need any specific qualifications all you need is a passion for whatever you're going to be tutoring and an accommodating personality to be able to deal with students <laughs> I've actually discovered Cafe Talk last summer when they contacted me to do a review of their platform and from that moment on I fell in love with the entire idea of online learning and this kind of exchange of information between people all around the world I've been wanting to commit and actually become a Cafe Talk tutor for a very long time but I just didn't have this extra push, this final motivator to push me over the line of fear and nervousness of oh my god I'm actually gonna be able to do it, what do I have to offer to all these people and am I even good enough to be a language tutor? But thankfully as some of you may know I am in my last year of university and here in the UK as a part of your undergraduate degree you need to do some kind of final project or a dissertation or whatever it's called in order to be able to graduate. So I decided to write my dissertation about guess what? <laughs> yeah, it was on YouTube even though I originally did think about writing it on YouTube but then yeah things just didn't work out in the theoretical educational sense. So I decided to write about technology, education, them coming together, making a little love baby of online learning. So that's the topic of my dissertation. I feel like I'm giving you guys a lecture about dissertations in British universities, but just bear with me. As a part of my dissertation, there is a research aspect that I need to conduct. I need to find out some kind of data. There are a few ways you can do it. People do interviews, surveys, other things. I decided to do participant ethnography, which is just a fancy way of saying, I'm gonna do an experiment on myself. So what I decided to do is sign up on Cafe Talk as a tutor, document that entire process, then deliver lessons to students, document that entire process as well, not in any form of like filming or whatnot, just kind of like field notes and stuff, and then write my research about it, do my dissertation about it. That's pretty much it. So, in order for me to be able to do this, I need your help and your enthusiasm and your amazing selves. I have been receiving quite a few questions and quite a few requests on my weekly Korean videos from people wanting to learn either Korean or English, actually, from me. You can all thank my dissertation because that is what enabled me to finally create a tutor account on Cafe Talk and be able to offer Korean and English language lessons over there. So those of you who have been following my weekly Korean series and those of you who want to learn Korean or English together with me, here is your chance, here's your opportunity, and now I'm going to show you how you can do that. There is a link to my tutor profile in the description box which when you click you will be redirected to my little tutor profile page on Cafe Talk. Over there you'll be able to see my face and where I am and what I teach and what languages I know and other little stats about me on the right and then in the middle you have a little video from me which I hope you watched and then I've put a little introduction where I talk about myself, about where my passion for languages comes from and what kind of lessons you can expect to learn from me and speaking of lessons as you scroll down you'll be able to see a list of all the lessons that I offer currently at Cafe Talk and you can take as many or as little of these lessons as you want for now there's only English and Korean language lessons but I am definitely open to teaching you guys a lot more other things I love the process of teaching I love explaining things and I'm actually fluent in Russian it is my native tongue so if there's anyone out there who wants to learn Russian for some really bizarre reason let me know in the comment section and if even a few of you are interested I will definitely add a Russian lesson it takes like five minutes to add a lesson it totally isn't difficult for me so if you click on one of the lessons you have an opportunity to pick a time slot in which you would like to take the lesson I try to keep my schedule very open all days of the week except for Wednesday hopefully that will suit your schedule after next week I think I'm gonna open up Wednesday as well so I'm gonna be available the entire week from next week onwards actually I'm not required to go to uni all I need to do is write my dissertation and other little university assignments so yes I will be spending a lot of time at home or in the library feel free to pick however many lessons at whatever times that are available over there and then when you do pick your lessons and you do pick your time you will just have to wait for me to confirm those and then have our lesson done 
So easy. If you don't have a student account at Cafe Talk, don't worry, it is super easy to sign up. I've actually signed up to Cafe Talk as a student first back in the summer and it was really simple. So yeah, I hope I mentioned everything that I wanted to mention. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section. The very last thing I want to do is to sincerely thank you all for supporting my channel, for supporting my weekly Korean series, for supporting my passion for Korea. Before I started my YouTube channel, I didn't have anyone believing in me and thinking that this crazy passion of mine is worthwhile or is actually acceptable. So having such a supportive community of people who love Korea as much as I do and who love my content is so incredibly validating and endearing. I love you guys all so much. You are like a big family to me and recently passing 100,000 subscribers meant the world to me. I didn't really make any specific videos about it because man, it came at the worst timing. I've been waiting to hit 100,000 subscribers for so long, but then it just had to happen at the most busiest time of my life. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me, for following me on this incredible Korean learning and Korea discovering journey, which hopefully one day is gonna take me to Korea. But until then, I hope we can still hang out here on YouTube and listen to K-pop, watch K-dramas, talk K-beauty, and continue learning Korean, of course. With that said, I hope you all are staying happy and healthy. I hope you're having the most wonderful day, and I will see you all later this week. Bye! Annyeong! 감사합니다! 사랑해!